today I want to talk to you about sugar. Um, you've seen me post about it a little bit uh, and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit more about it today. I pulled out some things from my refrigerator and my pantry just to show you where sugar actually is lurking in a lot of our foods. So first of all, sugar, excess sugar causes weight gain, obesity, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, cancer, dental issues from our teeth, and I think all of us would actually agree that too much sugar is bad for us. So what sugar does is sugar fuels every cell in your brain. Your brain sees sugar as a reward and it keeps wanting more of that. Uh, when you continue to eat sugar, you're reinforcing that habit and that makes it harder to stop eating sugar. And I, I think you crave what you eat. So um, if you do get rid of those excess sugars, then you won't even have those cravings anymore. So um, a lot of times we find ourselves kind of having that midday slump. You want to have a little bit of sugar. Sugar does give you that little bit of boost of energy because um, it's simple sugars that you're adding. When you add those simple sugars, they give you that rush, that insulin, that spike in your insulin. You're simply eating um, simple carbohydrates and that's quickly turned into glucose in your bloodstream and your blood sugar spikes, you get a little bit of energy, right? Simple carbs are also found, fruits, vegetables, um, however, the fruits and vegetables, if you eat for that little bit of sugar high, those also have fiber and they also have some nutrients and some protein. So that kind of slows down that really big sugar spike that you might feel um, when you're simply having syrups or candies or sugars or um, table sugar, because those are just pure sugar. So there's no other um, nutrients or things in them. So I think what we really need to do is maybe retrain our taste buds. So, um, you know, if you've given up some sugary foods in your past um, and then maybe you have it again or a little taste of it, sometimes it just tastes too sweet, right? Um, I'm thinking like maybe Coke or Mountain Dew. Um, I don't drink soda, but you know, I used to. I used to like Mountain Dew. And uh, once you give that up, then you're in the habit of going without it, you're doing fine without it, but then if you have even a little drink of it, it's like, whoa, this is so sweet, so sugary, because you're not used to it and you've gotten it out of your diet and out of habit. So I think one thing we can do is just start using less sugar. Um, and you know, kind of like how I went to black coffee, kind of just slowly and slowly, if you take a little bit of sugar out or don't use as much, and I'll be honest, sometimes when I make chocolate cake or whatever it is for birthdays, I don't put the exact amount of sugar that it requires because we can really do with less and we don't even really notice it. So um, speaking of Coke though, one can, one 12 ounce can of Coke has about 39 grams of sugar. And if you think about it, one of those little restaurant packets of sugar that you find at your table, that's about four grams. So there's about 10 gram, 10 of those packets in one can of Coke. And also, you know, um, if you like Sunkissed or those grape flavored sodas or the orange flavored sodas, those usually have a lot more sugar in them. Um, a lot of times those are the ones we give our kids, right? Um, but they have about 42 to 45 grams of sugar in one of those cans. So that's uh, a definitely a lot, right? So I want to give you a few tips of things we can do maybe to eliminate some of those sugar cravings. One, make sure you're getting enough protein. Protein takes longer to digest. Protein keeps you full longer. Um, it will keep you from craving sugar. Another thing is making sure you get in enough fiber. So just by filling yourselves up from other foods, then you won't have those cravings as much. Another thing I think uh, we need to keep in mind is to use natural fruit for sweetener. Um, a lot of the recipes that I looked at this week, instead of adding sugar, they have, they add dates, or they add bananas, um, those natural fruits have that sweetener in them. So when you're cooking with those or using that as your natural sugars, they're not that added sugar that's gonna be as harmful for you. Uh, frozen grapes are a great idea. Those taste kinda like a little popsicle. Um, just pop some grapes in the freezer, have them out um, when you're craving something sweet and sometimes it takes away that sugar craving. We also wanna stay away from artificial sweeteners. Um, a lot of times, well, first of all, they're just processed, they're artificial, um, chemically processed, 
but they also still kind of give you that sugar craving and that sweet craving and you still have that sweet tooth so really they don't take it away um, I think they kind of still bring that to your mind and have those um, sugar cravings instead of just you know cutting back so we also need to limit our healthy sugars um, even though they're healthier like natural honey uh, maple syrup pure maple syrup sugar is sugar in the long run so um, those are more natural they do have more nutrients in them but they are still sugar so we should still limit those um, of what we're eating so next I want to mention if you are like most people in the US the average American eats 19 teaspoons or more of added sugar in a day. And that adds up to about 285 calories. So uh, that's a little too much. <laughs> so, uh, but your question might be how much sugar should we be eating? How much is too much? So according to the American Heart Association, they say that no more than six teaspoons a day for women and nine teaspoons for men. So about six teaspoons of sugar is about 100 calories, just from sugars, and for the men, about nine teaspoons, and that's about 150 calories. So um, I think the best way to make sure that we're not going over in our sugar consumption is mainly just having that knowledge, being aware. Um, we really need to read our ingredients, pay attention to nutrition labels, and sometimes that's just a little bit of an education and how you do that because I have a few items here that I'm going to show you, but marketing is so tricky and um, we just have to be paying attention, we have to be noticing, and um, just we have to be on, on top of our game. So first of all, sugar can be called about 60 different things. Just a few of these names are agave nectar, brown rice syrup, high fructose corn syrup, dextrose, evaporated cane juice, glucose, lactose, malt syrup, molasses, sucrose. Okay, so those are all things that could be ingredients, but technically they're still sugar. Um, and when you are reading labels, the first ingredient um, that's listed under the ingredients is makes up the bulk of that item. So if sugar is like number two or number three, uh, that's, there's still gonna be quite a bit of sugar in that. If sugar is way down the list, uh, maybe the fifth or sixth item, then that's, there's gonna be less sugar in there. Um, and obviously our more natural things will have um, mostly, you know, our, the closer we come to the whole ingredient or the whole fruit, the whole food, um, will be less processed, less ingredients, and obviously, therefore, better for us. So, I did want to talk about a few different grocery items today. So, I did talk about creamers. Creamers are a big way that will add lots of sugar. Um, I mostly drink my coffee black. However, sometimes I crave a little bit of creamer or something like that. And um, nut pods are like a really great recommendation. These come in all flavors. All of these are non-dairy creamers, and uh, this is flavored, however, no added sugar. Um, this is another brand right here. These are uh, non-dairy creamers, no added sugar, so these are my three kind of top favorite brands. Um, you do have to check ingredients. My hardest thing when I was trying to find creamers that are non-dairy, they actually still add quite a bit of sugar. So you do have to watch your labels. You can't just see, oh, it's non-dairy, it's gonna be great for me. And then you see that it has all this extra added sugar. So do pay attention to that. Um, as far as drinks go, um, obviously I talked about soda. Soda's bad. Energy drinks, they have lots of added sugar. Um, pure fruit juice definitely adds up in a hurry and probably will um, give us too much of the sugar that we're wanting. So I do have a few, this is a collagen water. I do like this. So one thing I mentioned about the labels, paying attention to the labels. It does have one gram of sugar. However, it has 5% of real fruit juice. So that sugar that it's talking about there is they actually say is there's zero added sugars because there aren't any added sugars. The sugar that is in there is from the fruit juice that's there. Um, so there's that. Sometimes these are great, just like a sparkling water. Um, this, zero, zero sugars. So um, the only ingredients are carbonated water and natural flavors. So again, check your labels. Some of those do have a little bit of sugar. 
Um, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, smoothies and acai bowls. These are a big thing, I think, when you go to your local smoothie place or, you know, I'm in Hawaii, they have acai bowls everywhere. Uh, the best way to, to get an acai bowl or smoothie and make sure it doesn't have a lot of added sugar is to make it yourself. So in our freezer, we keep a lot of those unsweetened acai frozen packets. Those are perfect because then I know what I'm adding to them. I know what ingredients I'm putting on top of my acai bowl. However, it is always a fun treat sometimes to go out and get those where you don't have to make them at home and you can buy them um, at the store. However, just be watching because a lot of times their base, they add a lot of sugar, even though they don't need to. Um, if it has fresh fruit in it, some granola, maybe something like that, a lot of times they're adding extra sugar. So pay attention to your labels, pay attention to your ingredients. Um, on that note, granola is one thing I was going to talk about. I looked and looked and looked in the grocery store trying to find a granola that did not have a lot of extra sugar. I just want a little bit of granola to top on my acai bowls. Um, I think maybe just plain oatmeal might be the best. But this right here, uh, this is from Target. So I did find this one. Um, this one still has six grams of added sugar in a third of a cup. Um, However, the first few ingredients are organic coconut, sunflower seed kernels, organic pumpkin seed kernels, coconut sugar, and then organic maple syrup, a couple more down the list. So it still has some, but watch your labels. A lot of the, um, and obviously when I'm making an acai bowl at home, I'm not going to put a third of a cup on top of my acai bowl, so I can just limit it by having a few tablespoons or a couple tablespoons. But watch granola is really hard because they mainly sweeten it with evaporated cane juice um, high fructose corn syrup there's lots of things that they'll sweeten your granola with especially the flavored ones if you get like a cherry or a honey almond or something like that just go ahead and watch your labels one other thing i want to mention was yogurt um, i did a video a while ago about yogurt i like non-dairy yogurt <laughs> so even if you buy a non-dairy yogurt if you buy a non-dairy yogurt that has strawberry in it, it usually has about 12 to 15 grams of sugar, which seems a little bit crazy. So the best thing is buy a yogurt that is plain, unsweetened, and you can bring it home. You can add your own berries to it, frozen berries, um, frozen bananas, regular bananas, whatever. Add any fruit you want to it. Maybe put a little bit of honey drizzled on the top. Um, but you can sweeten your own yogurt to make it um, so much less of that added sugar. Okay, next I want to talk about dressings. Um, olive oil, vinegars are a great thing instead of like uh, honey mustard. There's a lot of salad dressings you can buy that are filled with lots of artificial ingredients and lots of sugar. This right here, this garden goddess, this is zero grams of sugar. Here's another one. This is just oil and vinegar, zero grams of added sugar. Um, I checked out my balsamic vinegar. Sometimes I do like making salad and just putting olive oil and balsamic vinegar. This has four grams of sugar in one tablespoon. So I did notice my red wine vinegar, and maybe it depends on the brand too, but I did notice my red wine vinegar or my white wine vinegar, they didn't have any added sugar. So that would obviously be a better choice than maybe this one that has a little bit of sugar in it. Um, ketchup. Let's look at these ingredients. <laughs> I'm not a big ketchup eater, but tomato, concentrate from red, ripe tomato, distilled vinegar, high fructose corn syrup, and then corn syrup. So they add that. There's four grams of sugar in one tablespoon. So if you're a big ketchup eater, you definitely have to watch those labels. Sriracha sauce is good. Zero, zero grams of sugar. Okay, this is a good um, spicy or flavoring that you can have. Uh, barbecue sauce, open pit. There is the, the very first ingredient, high fructose corn syrup. Okay, there's nine grams of sugar in two tablespoons. So a lot of times it's just really eye-opening just to check and make sure, you know, the ingredients. Um, one thing I was talking about was tomato sauce. So this is a no sugar added pasta sauce, which is good. So it does have four grams of sugar per half a cup, zero added sugars, but I want to look to see where those sugars are coming from. And it's, there's no added sugar, like I told you, but they're coming from the tomatoes itself. So like I said, you definitely have to watch um, labels. 
As we do watching labels, a couple other things. Um, milk. I just checked. We have some whole milk in the fridge. There's one of us in our family, not me, <laughs> that drinks milk on a cereal occasionally. Um, and it does usually go bad because it doesn't usually get drank. There's um, whole milk, organic, one cup of milk. I think it had 12 grams of sugar or maybe eight grams of sugar. But check your labels, lots, lots, lots of sugar. Um, this almond milk is my favorite. I buy it at Costco in these, you know, shelf ready, whatever you call them, cartons. Um, there's no added sugars in this. So this is my favorite uh, non-dairy milk that doesn't have any added sugar. Um, oh, here was another salad dressing. This Primal Kitchen, they're uh, usually a good brand. Uh, peanut butter, one thing I'm talking about peanut butter. Check your labels, as always. Um, this one right here, they try to tell you it says natural, right? Natural Skippy. Uh, two tablespoons of this has three grams of sugar and then three added grams of sugar. So if you check the ingredients, it's roasted peanuts, sugar, palm oil, which is not good for you either, and then salt. Okay, so that's in this, but they label it thinking that this is the better choice, right? And it's probably still better than the others. Um, this is one of my favorites, North Shore Goodies. Here in Hawaii, it's a coconut peanut butter. And the only ingredients are peanuts and coconuts. That's what I love to see. No at, or less than one gram of sugar. So that's perfect. However, here's another coconut peanut butter. And this one has four grams of sugar, mainly because it has honey added in it. It has peanuts, coconuts, coconut oil, and honey and sea salt. So again, just paying attention to um, what our labels say. This is a peanut butter, which the only ingredient says peanuts. And there's two grams of sugar, which I don't know where that's coming from. It's not added sugars. So maybe from the roasting, it doesn't say roasted peanuts. But anyway, there's only one ingredient in this peanut butter. And that other one there is more. Jelly. Kind of another thing too, um, this is 100% fruit jelly and it's actually sweetened with um, fruit concentrate. So there can be a lot of, if you're not having um, any jelly that has uh, the natural fruits, they're just a lot of added sugar. Okay, a couple more things I wanna mention. Well, this first of all, um, they want you to think that you're being healthy, right? Um, Gluten-free. No artificial flavors, no colors from artificial sources, and obviously, or honestly, multigrain Cheerios is kind of a better choice as far as cereals. However, there's eight grams of added sugar in one and a third cup, so it's still not great. Um, and the sugar is actually uh, brown sugar syrup and regular sugar. So, watching labels is uh, highly, highly important. Okay, here's another thing I wanted to tell you about that they kind of is tricky. So Kodiak cakes, right? It's a pancake mix, so waffle mix. Um, 14 grams of protein. So if you buy this, you're thinking that you're getting lots of great protein, right? And it does have more protein. However, there is added sugar in both of these. So, and obviously then with your recipe, you can add more brown sugar if you want to. Um, but one thing I wanted to talk about, these are really simple and really easy. I recently found these for my boys, and I'll be honest, I bought them in a hurry. Grabbed them, they like the little oatmeal cups that are a little bit more healthy for you. But I grabbed these flapjack ones, buttermilk and maple, 10 grams of protein. So you eat this, 10 grams of protein, something my boys can easily do, right? Um, so in here, even though there's 10 grams of protein, there is 15 grams of sugar. So there's more sugar in here than there is protein. The first ingredient is whole grain wheat flour, whole grain oat flour. The third ingredient is maple syrup and then brown sugar. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's all added in. Um, so it can be a little bit tricky. You think you get a lot of protein. You are getting a lot of protein, but you're getting more sugar than you are protein. Okay. The last thing I want to mention, well, the second last thing I want to mention was, uh, bars a lot of people have asked me what's the best bar to eat as far as like you know protein bar you're on the go whatever i do i don't eat bars much because they are really calorie dense but and i mainly like eating real food but these um lara bars are actually pretty good um this one is protein they're plant-based so 
Don't be scared by like, there's 220 calories in one of the bars. It is a lot of calories, but you're getting 11 grams of protein, zero grams of added sugar, but 19 grams of sugar. But I'll let you know, if you check out your ingredients, the sugar is coming from natural ingredients. The first ingredient is dates. So you're getting dried fruit. That's where most of the sugar's from. Almonds, pea protein, apples, blueberries, blueberry extract, sea salt, and lemon extract. There's nothing artificial in there, except those little extracts, but um, nothing, no, no extra added sugar from table sugar. So don't be scared that like these are high in calories. So just making sure, you know, that you're tracking that or whatever. So this one, cinnamon roll, four grams of protein, 18 grams of sugar, no added sugar, but the same thing. The first ingredient is dates. Um, so dates are going to have um, a lot more sugars because those natural sugars from the fruit. So this right here, chocolate chip cookie dough. So it's still made, cashews, dates. Uh, the third ingredient is the chocolate chips. And they do have a little bit of sugar in them because they have the chocolate chips. So three grams of protein in these, maybe not the best choice. You're kind of better off going with one of these that don't have the chocolate chips in it if you're trying to avoid sugar. Um, okay, one other thing I wanted to mention was uh, alcohol, alcohol drinks. If you're drinking alcohol that is mixed with all those pre-made mixers, that's a lot of sugar, lots and lots of sugar. Um, if they're sweetened with, uh, you know, mixing with Coke, soda, things like that, that's a lot of sugar. Juice, honey, sugar, agave, all of those are gonna add um, lots of calories from sugar. One thing is to sweeten with regular lime juice. Um, regular lemon juice, you know, just r real fruits or muddle some like berries, frozen berries, and make a drink with that if you're wanting an alcoholic drink. But a lot of times that margarita or pina colada or any of those frozen drinks, they're like four to 800 calories depending on what they put in them. So just be aware of that. One thing that we like to use is Fever Tree. It is a light tonic water. I like gin and tonic, um, but anyway, this mixer right here is made, it does have 30 calories per one of these little bottles, but it does have fructose, which is the fruit sugar, and then it has other things, um, other natural things in it. So no added sugar with this mixer, and it's a light one, so it doesn't have as much sugar as just like a plain tonic. So um, that's mostly what I had to show you. Hopefully you've learned a little bit about sugar, where sugar is hiding, um, and how, you know, just natural sugars and fruits is the best way to get the sugar in. Um, another thing, um, that I want to mention was, uh, that we are doing a faster way VIP, no, sorry, we are doing a faster way five day sugar detox starting on Monday. And it's just a five day, it's a free challenge, just, just a little bit more awareness, like I said, of where you'll learn about where sugar is, maybe how you can kind of kick your sugar habit if that's you, trying to eliminate a few of those things that do have the added sugars. So send me a message or drop a note below in the comments and I will get you that information to where you can sign up for that. And um, that starts on Monday, like I said. And if you're ready for the faster way and changing your lifestyle, wanting to make better choices, the healthier choices, my next Faster Waste group does start October 19. So once you're registered, you have instant access to the app and you get all the information and then you can start with us on the 19th. I'd love for you to join me for, you can um, get the app and then you can try out some of the workouts and some of the recipes right away. So please share my video if you found it helpful and um, we'll see you next time.